Hey, what's up guys? Chris from CT Golf Reviews here. We are at Short Beach Golf Course in Stratford, Connecticut. Quick little par three, so it's not gonna be a long video. Let's go play. One thing I didn't really want to do today was walk the course. Um, for those who don't know, I am like really highly anemic, so I run out of breath like that. It's just you can tell. I like the course though. So far, so good. I'm granted I'm only on the second hole, but it's a link style course, and I like link style courses. So this is like right up my alley. Greens are all right. The rough is rough. I mean, no pun intended there, but the rough is rough. You really gotta like dig into it. Kinda reminds me of the player's course. Now where did I put my ball? There it is. Not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but that is a pretty sweet hill. If I make this putt, it'll be a freaking miracle. That is like the definition of a blind shot right there. I literally have to hit over a marsh and have no idea where the hole is. It's only 100 yards, so I'm gonna take out my sandwich because I know I can clear that. This wind is heavy too. I heard a thud, but I don't know where it landed. I stole it and it rolled onto the green. Never done that before. So as you could tell, I am sweating like crazy. I'm not used to walking courses. So far, good experience I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's a bad experience I have I'm having a good time uh, the course is a very very beginner course I could tell you that right now if you're just starting to play golf come here because the holes are not far like that's the tee box over there that I just hit off of right that's the hole so it's not you're not looking at a far distance between any of the holes link style it's not you know it, there's not really a lot of hills except for like the sand traps uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm out of breath right now and I'm playing like crap because of that. So let's keep going. I'm going to do the old, uh, Rick Shields eight iron bump onto the green. At least that's where I learned it from was Rick Shields. If you ever see this, Rick, can you subscribe to me? Like it would help. No way. That's going to be an easy par. That's a par. Oh, 
So, I don't want to be that guy, but this is a review channel and I have to be honest. That is a turnoff. Um, like these little like indents right here. My ball landed in that and just messed my putt up. Uh, I don't like that too much. That's, yeah, I don't like that. So I realized as I'm playing, and you probably can't even see me because of the lighting is horrible. Uh, this is a par three course, which basically means that my handicap is not going to be affected if I play bad. And it's not rated by the USGA. There's no slope or index, you know, uh, slope or course rating. And you got to excuse me. I'm like, I'm walking and I feel like I'm going to die. And I broke my golf bag today too. Look at that. Isn't life great today? So I'm gonna have to like put this under another category, like a par three category. So I, I, and especially because I know that there are other par three courses that I'm gonna be playing and rating. So this rating is gonna be under a par three category. All right, guys, that wraps it up for Short Beach and Stratford. Let's get back to the house and do the review. All right, so let's get into the review of Short Beach Golf Course. First and foremost, I want to say I apologize for having to do these videos at night. This is the only time I've really had in the past couple of days, and I played the course three days ago. Let's get into it. Let's do the actual review, and then I want to say a few things because... I did this video once already and I had to rewatch it and as I was editing it I realized that I was a little too harsh when it came to my review and the rating and what I thought of the course. Uh, and when I when I say I was too harsh, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm, I didn't start this, this channel to be mean or nice, I started it so I could be fair because I love the game and I love that people are playing the game, especially in my state of Connecticut that really doesn't get a good reputation for anything as of late. I want people to know that we at least have something really cool that you can do in you know the state so that way you know if you want to play golf or if you're planning your weekend you can go and check out my videos and see the course in action maybe you've never played there before maybe you have and you just want to see what other people think of it that's basically the point of the channel with that being said I do have a few things I need to get off of my chest and say about this golf course because I feel like it needs to be said by somebody who doesn't play there regularly difficulty and scenery are gonna both be a three layout and staff are going to be a four difficulty and scenery kind of play into each other it is a very flat link style course that i am almost i would willing to bet on the fact that when they were building the park they had to flip a coin it was either heads as a golf course or tails as a soccer field and it landed on golf course because it's small enough to where it could fit two full-size soccer fields in there but it's big enough to where it can fit two full-size soccer fields in there that's basically what I'm saying it could have been soccer fields but there's a baseball field there's a softball field there's a skate park there's a playground and, there's, and then there's actual short beach which is along the uh, the other side of the parking lot and then it kind of surrounds itself by a neighborhood and then there's the Sikorsky airport which kind of disappointed me because I love airplanes and uh, I didn't get to see a single one take off or land while I was there so you know but, you know, with the scenery being like that, it's, that also plays into the difficulty because aside from the two ponds that are there, that as long as you have anything over a pitching wedge you can hit over, you're not going to have to worry about losing your ball or plugging it into the sand because the sand's hard enough to where you really can't. You don't have to worry about losing it in the woods or anything. The most you're going to do is slice it into the parking lot, which is what I did, but I didn't even hit anything and I was able to get the ball back and still use it. Uh, otherwise, it, it's not hard. So, uh, scenery and difficulty are both going to be a three. Staff... You're getting a four because I really like the person behind the counter. 
uh, that's basically it. Uh, I didn't really have a conversation with the guy who was in the starter in the golf cart. Uh, the guy who was in the cart, or who I was, I don't remember who was in the cart. Maybe it was two people, but there was just, there was just somebody there who kind of rolled his eyes every time a, a car would come in. It seemed like it was just like like he would sit there like this, and then he would see a car and you know go like that. So you know, to me, that really doesn't give a positive vibe and I said in my first video that when you're at the pro shop and when you're dealing with the staff that's one of the most important things that you have to worry about when you're starting a game because that's gonna give you the vibe of the course those those are the people who take your money those are the people who direct you uh, answer any questions you may have and when they're there just for the money you can tell that they don't play golf the year if they're there just to be there you're not going to have a good experience with them. Fortunately, the people that I talked to were very nice. That's why I'm giving you guys a four. Layout was another four, and that's the only reason I'm giving it a four for the layout is because it's a link style course. And I said in the Blue Fox video, I love link style courses. They are some of my absolute favorite courses to play, mainly because they're wide open, they're flat, they're really easy to navigate, and I just love them. Uh, and then you've got, you know, the whole course had cart paths that went around it, which as of right now, I think Hotbrook's the only other one that has full cart paths. There's a couple of others that I haven't reviewed yet that do, but people know that I'm a stickler for cart paths. I like the 90 degree rule. You know, the tee boxes aren't too far away from the holes. Like, there's one hole where you can hit it with a sand wedge and get it out. Like, I scold a shot with a sand wedge and it rolled through the rough onto the green. Like, you can't do that anywhere else. You're not going to find another course where you can do that. Layout is going to be a four, and my overall score for Short Beach Golf Course is going to be a 4.3. Let's get into the things I need to talk about, and I'm going to try to make this quick. First and foremost, I understand that it is COVID-19 season. It's the, People don't want to go out. People don't want to risk getting sick. People are not going to be gathering in a lot of places. The reason why I bring that up is because I called two hours ahead of time to book my tee time and they said that they could possibly squeeze me in at 2.15 behind a threesome because they were booked full. And this is not the first time that's happened to me. For those who don't know, I've been putting this course off for a little bit. That was actually the first time I've ever played it. There are some courses in this review channel that I've never played. For example, uh, Norwich, I never played before. So that was the first time ever reviewing that that uh, that course, and that was the first time me playing it. I've played Hotbrook plenty of times. I've played Farmingbury plenty of times. I've played Woodhaven's my home course. So there's courses that I've already played that I know I'm going to have a good experience with, and I can kind of like tell what's going to happen ahead of time. So when I get the impression that this place is consistently busy, I'm thinking to myself, oh wow, this must be a pretty popular spot. I'm pretty happy I got in, but it wasn't the case. When I got there, there were four people, and I was one of them, and there were two people on the putting green, and I could not for the life of me find the threesome that was ahead of me. Yeah, there were there were not a lot of people there, and I was under the impression that it was going to be packed, and it's making me wonder if that's what it was like the last time, too. If maybe if I just showed up, I would have gotten on. So it, that kind of put a bitter taste in my mouth, because I don't really like that. I don't like having to worry if I'm going to be able to get onto the course, because there have been times when I've gotten to a course, and I've had to putt around on the putting green for an hour and a half because they're just overbooked and didn't know it. But, you know, I feel like this course, they know that they're not going to get a lot of people, but they are going to tell people that they get a lot of people. Uh, I don't know why, but I, you know, I guess it's what you do. Uh, another thing, uh, I understand that it is a town-run course. I understand that it is a municipal course, and, you know, people that work there probably uh, work for the town. But take your job a little bit more happily. You know, you're lucky to be working. I, I feel like the people that were there, again, they were very nice, but they just didn't really seem like they loved it. You know what I mean? There was another issue that I had with the carts. I prefer a cart because, like I said in the video, I'm extremely anemic, and if I run more than 10 feet, I will run out of breath, and I will feel like I'm going to die, and it makes my game go down, and it lowers my energy and everything. And they had a parking lot full of carts. And... The vibe that I was getting from some of the people that I was talking to afterwards is the fact that they just didn't want to wash them. They, you know, they don't have people that want to really, you know, tend the carts because they could have, they could have rented them. That could have been another ten bucks that they could have made for me if they had just, you know, rented me the cart. Hell, I would have washed it down, but they didn't, and that's a really big turnoff to me, and I don't really like that. So yeah, 
the green that I showed you that was in rough shape, that was really the only one, but I feel like that being left like that could possibly mean that they don't really want to take care of anything else on the course. It was really wet. I understand why there, it's a marshy area in certain spots, and there's the beach right there. It didn't rain or anything, but I feel like the rough could have been taken care of a little bit more, at least evened out. The approach to the greens, they were okay. The sand traps were hard. They were not the easiest to get out of. And you could tell that they've been, kind of been sitting there for a while. You know, there's rocks and stuff. I found bottle caps thrown in one of them. So it's like, you know, they don't really go around and clean the course thoroughly like they should. I'm going to say this right now. I did not have the worst experience there. I actually did thoroughly enjoy myself. I, yeah, I, I love the game. I, I, I love playing the game regardless of where I'm playing. But there's things like that that will turn me off. It's not the worst course I've ever played. It's not the best course I've ever played. But at the same time, it's also not a course I'll voluntarily go back to. I mean, like, if it was the last course on Earth, of course I'll go and play there. But I know better par threes. And let's say one more thing, too, before I cut this out. This is a par 3 course. For all I know, maybe a 4.3 is a good rating for a par 3. And I, I have to consider that when I rate par 3 courses. So, after saying all of that, Short Beach, great for beginners. Great for people who just want to putz around on a course. I wouldn't recommend it for the pros. I wouldn't recommend it for the people who are really trying to up their game and take it seriously. At the same time, it's not the worst place in the world. Guys, I'm Chris with CT Golf Reviews. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.